Hey coach, it's Joe Salas here, uh, talking special teams today. Going to be a shorter video. Going to talk uh, special teams philosophy today. And then the next video, I'll give you uh, the three best drills I have for special teams. I think uh, special teams is one of those deals where everyone knows it's important. Everyone uh, knows it's uh, one of the keys to, to winning a lot of games. Uh, but and nobody's really sure exactly how to practice it. So uh, I'll give you my three best drills next time, but, but these are just the, kind of the nine uh, key points for me. We call it special forces instead of special teams. Uh, I feel like we've been pretty dang good on special teams uh, in the past. Uh, so these are my keys to making it happen. The first one is, I, I think the number one key is the head coach has to be the lead dog on special teams. When the head coach is the lead dog, when he's uh, when he's running the show, everyone on the team knows that special teams is a big deal. Uh, you can always delegate it off to someone else, but I think it diminishes uh, the important and everyone uh, the importance of special teams in everyone's mind when you delegate it off to someone else. So head coach has got to lead the charge. Uh, number two, uh, you. Kiss. You got to keep it simple because of time. You're, 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 uh, you know, the, uh, I think we talked about it in the last video, you know, that colleges, NFL, they just got, they have more time than us to do all this extra stuff. Uh, I think in the special teams area, you know, we say it's a third of the, third of the game, one every, uh, one every four plays and all that kind of stuff. But uh, the truth is, we're going to have, probably 20 minutes early in the season and then dropping down to 15 minutes once you get really in season. So uh, 15 minutes is not a whole lot of time. You got to keep your scheme and your attack simple. And, and by that I just mean uh, we don't do a lot of multiple things on special teams. We, we've got our thing that we do and, uh, and that's what we do because uh, time wise I don't have time to do anything else. Uh, number three, this, this is a, a gigantic one. Uh, one of the coaches, I, I, I wish I remember his name, the ECU, he was their special teams guy a couple years ago, and he gave me this idea, and I think it's a game changer, in that you two platoon your special teams. And by that, it just means have a kickoff team and a kick return team, 22 different guys. Have a uh, punt team and a punt block team, 22 different guys. Now I know that starts getting you thin in a few areas, but what it does is it adds to your practice uh, in a very high level way. And that uh, now we're not wasting any time setting up scout teams. When we're practicing punt block, we've got the punt team out there and they can line up in any look we need them to line up in and vice versa. Same thing, kick off, kick return. You're, you're, you're saving yourself a lot of time and headaches on setting up scout looks uh, and you're increasing your repetitions. And then, you know, for us on the high school level, you know, when we do kickoff, we're doing varsity kickoff followed by JV kickoff. Varsity kickoff followed by JV kickoff. And we we're really only, my philosophy, my style is, I've really only got two or three uh, subs on, for, every, for every group. I, I'm not too deep in every area. I don't think that's real. I think most of us on the sideline, uh, you know, the, I think the normal thing on the sideline is you look around and grab a kid and throw them in. So if you got two or three subs on your list uh, that are familiar with what's going on, it's a lot easier to get them in the game. But I think being too deep on special teams, I think it's pretend to a certain extent. And I'm a two platoon guy, and, and I think it's a little bit pretend. Uh, number four, I think I've already said it. You know, for the most part of the season, I've got 15 minutes. I've got, and I'll show you the drill tomorrow. I've got a five minute, uh, what we call special forces drill, where I've got all the specialists out there getting a ton of reps for five minutes straight. It's a, it's a 10 minute period at the very beginning, but once we teach it, it drops down to five minutes and they get a ton of work done in that five minutes. And then I've got 10 minutes to work the unit. And that is, uh, you know, usually two two different groups, uh, and it's usually a drill, and then the and then the actual uh, unit that we're working. So, uh, you know, ten minutes is not a lot of time to get it done, but you've got, you know, that's the minimum you've got to invest in order to be pretty dang good. Because there's a lot of lot of games, uh, you know, I, when when I'm teaching special teams, I tell them, look, the number one easiest way to lose a football game is mess up a punt. 
The second easiest way to lose a football game is mess up a kickoff. Those are your two quickest ways to lose. So that you got to put your time into it. You got to invest into it because there, that means uh, you know if you're not losing, you got a better chance of winning. So so that's where we're doing it. Uh, number five, and I, I've switched this. I used to be a Monday guy, but I've switched to Thursday is when we do our our uh, special teams video. So we're going to take a 30 minute meeting. We're going to take 15 minutes and look at us from the previous Friday, and then we're going to take 15 minutes and look at them. And we're going to go, you know, with Huddle, it's so easy now, but we're we're going to get two or three shots of everything they do. I used to show everything they did, uh, but two or three shots of their scheme, their kickoff, their kick return, their punt, their, you know, all that stuff so that we can get a good feel for it. We've been practicing against it. We've already run the script, but uh, we want to see it on film. Number six is hang your hat on something. Be known for something. I think that's important for your program, but I, it's also super important for your special forces. We, my teams are known, we're gonna block kicks. Uh, that, that's what we hang our hat on. We, we, wanna, um, we think that's the, the fastest way to, to, to win a football game is to get out there and block a punt, block an extra point, block a field goal. We block kicks. That's what we're hanging our hats on. But it don't matter what it is. You might be a punt return team. You might be a kick return team. You might be a kick it into the end zone team. How, whatever it is, hang your hat on something and make that a big deal. Uh, number uh, seven, is your Thursday script. I'm, I'm sure most everyone does this, but, but we run through the script on Thursday where we're basically simulating a game, but we're making sure we hit every single special team in as many different situations as we can on Thursday. Uh, number eight is rewards. You gotta make it a big deal. Rewards, rewards, rewards. You know, uh, we're a kick block team, so the biggest reward, literally the biggest reward on our team, our weekly reward, is for blocking kicks. Uh, and then name your units. Everyone likes to do it. I've seen all kinds of crazy, uh, crazy names for them. But for us, uh, our punt block team is called SWAT team. Our, our punt team is called Pride Team. Uh, I really haven't named the other ones as, as well as those two, but, but put some names on I've seen the, 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 the kamikazes for kickoff. You know, there's all kinds of names you can put on there, but it makes it special, it makes it a big deal. Our job is to make special teams a big deal. Uh, number nine is you gotta play your best kids, you know. Uh, I know and I've seen in the past where coaches thought that that was a good place to hide kids, they ended up regretting it in key situations. Uh, it, can, you hide, can you get a kid a little playing time on special teams? Yeah, you can get young, good athletes playing time. You can even hide uh, you know, a big kid on like a field goal team. I, I've done it and they, and they took pride in it and they did a good job with it. But uh, you're playing with fire if you're trying to hide them on kickoff team or, or even kick return team or, or punt team. You're playing with fire there. It's going to end up hurting you. So we play our best kids, even though that gets diluted a little bit because we're going two platoon when we're actually playing 22 kids. Uh, but uh, I thought the rewards were, were plenty uh, big enough to, on, the, on the two platoon deal. But you got to play your studs. And, and I think most of us are there. You know, you're going to play your best kid back there at uh, – and uh, kick return guys, you know those those two guys deep or kick return. I know when when uh, when I kick off, you know every once in a while we'll play a team and you look out there and it looks like they got eleven tailbacks out there. You know where you're saying, well, where's a safe place to kick this thing? Uh, that's always hard to deal with. So uh, my philosophy's always been number one, we can steal some games on special teams because there's so many. I know good coaches who don't spend any time on special teams. So if I can invest a little time and effort, I know I can get an advantage on somebody. And for me, it's always been about uh, trying to get you know a, a tactical advantage everywhere we can. So uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, I'll give you my three best special teams drills tomorrow. Again, I, I think the, the one of the reasons, one of the reasons why people don't get uh, get their pee hot about special teams is because special teams are hard to practice. So I'll give you my uh, my three best. Uh, do all the, the Facebook stuff. If you like it, like it. Subscribe. Uh, leave a comment. Uh, appreciate it, coaches. Let, let's share some ideas. Thank you.